Once upon a time in the whimsical land of Featherdale, there lived a peculiar duck named Sir Quaxalot, with a shiny helmet perched atop his feathery head and a makeshift armor made of acorns, Sir Quaxalot fancied himself a brave knight, ready for daring adventures. One sunny morning as the meadows echoed with quacks, Sir Quaxalot received a royal proclamation. The wise owl king sought his help to retrieve the golden quill, a magical pen that could rewrite the tales of Featherdale. Eager to prove his bravery, Sir Quaxalot waddled off, embarking on a quest full of quirkiness. His first challenge awaited in the enchanted forest, where the trees whispered secrets. Sir Quaxalot encountered a mischievous band of squirrels who challenged him to a nut-collecting contest. Unbeknownst to the ducks, the mischievous squirrels had a secret alliance with the wise old owl. Laughter echoed through the woods as acorns flew in a hilarious showdown. Upon winning the contest, Sir Quaxalot was granted a mystical map leading to the labyrinth of ticklish turtles. Legend had it that only those who could endure the laughter of the turtles would discover the location of the golden quill. With determination in his heart and feathers ticklish, Sir Quaxalot navigated the labyrinth, creating a symphony of quacks and laughter that echoed through the maze. Finally reaching the center, he faced the ticklish turtle king. In a comical exchange of tickles and quacks, the king revealed the secret passage to the golden quills, hiding place the whimsical waterfall. But to reach it, Sir Quaxalot had to cross the Giggling Gorge. The Giggling Gorge was guarded by the laughing lizards, notorious for their contagious laughter. Sir Quaxalot, armed with his wit, engaged in a series of pun-filled jokes, turning the laughter to his advantage. The lizards, overwhelmed by amusement, allowed him to pass through unscathed. Finally, at the base of the whimsical waterfall, Sir Quaxalot discovered the golden quill shimmering in the mist. However, the playful waterfall challenged him to a dance-off before relinquishing the magical pen. In a display of feathered finesse, Sir Quaxalot and the waterfall twirled and quacked until victory was achieved. Triumphantly returning to the Owl King, Sir Quaxalot handed over the golden quill, ensuring laughter and joy would forever fill the pages of Featherdale's tales. The land celebrated with a grand quack-filled festival, honoring the brave and silly duck knight who turned every challenge into a whimsical adventure. And so, Sir Quaxalot continued his misadventures, spreading laughter and silliness across the animal kingdom, forever etching his quacktastic legacy in the hearts of Featherdale's inhabitants.